Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jinx Rose, and welcome back to my Minecraft Hardcore Survival game. Uh, when we left off, I was smelting a ton of iron and gold and a bunch of goodies that I found down in the ravine that I was exploring. And... So... I emptied out a bunch of my inventory, and I'm going to empty out a little bit more, make some more tools, and then head back down into that ravine. So, keep that. Keep the crafting bench on me. that away and put that away. Keep some coal on me and my arrows. Okay, so I'm going to make some more torches and some more sticks. Bunch of goodies to continue exploring. Uh, okay, so let's sleep for the night and then when I wake up I'm going to get a bunch of wood from a bunch of trees and then should be good after I take out these skeletons. Uh, don't look at the Enderman. Uh, die, skeleton. There we go. Got a ton of bone meal. That'll be awesome. I really need to start working on my, like, ranch area where the animals are going to be in that thing. A little tiny pen that I've got going on. Come on, spider. Now that I have a bunch of iron, I can just use iron instead of having to use anything else. No more stone tools for me. Ooh, he dropped a bunch of meat. Awesome. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm going to make a bunch of tools and then head back into that ravine and see what else I can collect after I harvest a bunch of wood from trees. Holy crap. Ah, uh, hay creepers. Okay, I know there's a huge, yeah, huge forest right over here. So that is where I'm going to go, and I'm going to get a bunch of wood, make sticks, make torches with it, and all that good stuff, and then head back into that ravine with iron tools. Alright. Some clay there I should collect, too. I like having bricks. Not sure why. Looks a lot more professional than having a house made out of dirt and stone. So yeah, I don't need to collect too much wood. I'll be fine. And I'm going to be carrying a crafting bench with me so I can make tools while I'm down there. So... Awesome. That's enough sticks for torches. Perfect. There we go. There's some sticks for some tools. And I'll keep some wood on me. Put the rest of that away. And then headed back into the ravine, which is just going to be awesome. After I kill this piggy and grab that apple. I should have plenty of food, too, if I just start cooking it up. I don't want to kill too many of these animals. Okay, so let's make some tools. Awesome. Take that. Make some more bone meal. Put the bone meal away for now. Put that away for now. That away for now. There's away for now. And that. I'm going to cook these pork chops. Do I have any more I can cook? I think so. Yep. Awesome. So, time to make some tools. I'm going to make two iron swords. No, just one, because then I'll have two total. There we go. Here's my bow. Another iron pickaxe. There we go. I'll make an iron shovel and an iron axe. Put those away. Put the iron away, and I think I should be good to go. Back down into that ravine. I don't think there's anything else I need to take with me. Except for some more pork chops. Okay, actually I should take some iron with me in case I need to make some tools. 
There we go. Back into this giant ravine over here. I'm digging on this ravine. There's a bunch of goodies down here and a huge cave system that leads like everywhere, which is just awesome. Die big. Arrow. I need to get a chicken farm going. I can get more feathers and make more arrows. Okay. My ravine is right here. Oh, it's kind of sketchy getting down here. My furnace and crafting bench. I'm going to toss some coal in this furnace. There we go. That way I can use it when I get back. Now instead of exploring the cave system at the bottom of this, I'm going to start going back that way in the ravine. See if there's anything else to find. After I kill the skeleton. There we go. Oh crap, another skeleton. Haven't been up this way yet. Good, good. I've been that way and I've been that way. And this was the dungeon in here that I found before. But I'm just going to start walking back along this ravine and seeing what I can find. Let me use some of this. Crap. There we go. Instead of digging my way out this time, because that was kind of a waste of time last time, I'm just going to start laying down stone and stuff. Okay. This place is huge, though, for sure. What's up this way? I've already been this way. Okay. So I can continue on this way. Yeah, this cave system is just massive. Plenty of enemies to be found, too. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Creeper, go away. Go away, creeper. No. Ah, man. Hey, creepers. They destroy all my hard work. No. Okay, there's more groupers down that way. It's getting dark, so I'm going to light this up. <clears throat> right on. There's this end of this ravine. So there's still like a second layer I need to explore. Because it's still dark. Grab some more iron. Awesome. Make a way to escape. Brighten it up. What does this lead to? Enemies. Stupid skeleton. Alright. Bring this up down here. Some more coal that I don't need right now. And some more creepers. Just die already, creeper. Awesome. I should have enough gunpowder now to actually start making some TNT, which will be useful. Ah. Oh, I need to eat, too. Because all the damage I'm taking, I'm not regenerating. Oh, man. No. No. Come on, zombies. Just, just die already? Die already? Okay. Phew. I need to eat. Oh, come on. Finish it. Finish it. Now take out this skelly. And the creeper. Crap. No. Oh my god, my health. Oh god, this might be it, guys. I might be dying right now. Holy cow. Oh, that was scary. And this is why, in a hardcore game like this, you shouldn't be traversing giant cave systems. Yeah. <laughs> you get that close to death. That was really close. I shouldn't even go any further until I regenerated more health. That was scary. No, forget you, Skelly. Okay. Grab all these experience orbs. Man, this cave system is massive. Lava. Iron down there. 
All right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. When we get back, I will continue exploring this giant cave system down at the bottom of this ravine. All right, see you next time.